Good morning. So we're going to discuss how to take care of a dead golf car. Um, when the golf car gets below 29 and a half volts, it simply won't turn on. Um, the charger will not turn on. So what we're going to do here is trick the charger to thinking the car has a voltage so that it will turn on. So first, we're going to take our set of jumper cables and we're going to connect the main positive on one cart to the main positive on our good golf cart. Next, we're going to take, connect the jumper cable to the main negative of the bad cart and connect it to the main negative of the good cart. After our jumper cables are connected, then we're going to take our charger and we're going to turn our charger, we're going to simply plug our charger back into the golf cart. At this point, your charger will come on. Um, what you're going to want to do is let the golf cart charge for about 45 minutes. Now while it's charging, ever so carefully, disconnect your jumper cables because we do not want them to touch at all. So now we've got our jumper cable disconnected, the charger is still charging. The golf cart is going to charge for probably 10-12 hours. Um, it will charge the maximum length the charger will allow it. So the next day, take the golf cart out for a 5 or 10 minute run and then put it back on charge. It'll take at least two charge cycles for this golf cart to become fully charged. You don't need to have the good golf cart on charge for this to work. All we're doing is simply getting the battery voltage to register onto this set of batteries to trick the charger. So that's all you need. So this is the EasyGo tow bar and this is great for when you have a golf cart go down and you have to go out and get it um, because obviously it takes two people if you're going to go out with a golf cart and a strap and of course nobody can ever help you when you need to go get it. So the tow, the tow bar allows one person to go out and get a golf cart that is down. Um, it's simply a three point setup and it's pretty quick and pretty easy. Uh, first you connect it into the tab on your front axle. Next you take the tie rod assembly and slide that into the spindle. Take your safety clip, run that through the front axle. Secure that. Remove this coupling. Take your tow vehicle, roll it backwards, and this will go up through the center hole in the bag well assembly. Once you have your tow bar up through there, Simply take this piece back, fix it to the tow bar, and then your tow bar is now locked in position and you're free to tow the car at up to 10 mile an hour back to your location. Remember if you're towing electric cars, put the golf car into the tow maintenance position, that way the regenerative braking is turned off. Other than that, good luck. One of the biggest problems that anybody faces with electric cars is watering the batteries. And everybody thinks this is pretty simple. You just water the batteries until it's all the way filled to the top and then you stop. And that really can't be farther from the truth. Overfilled batteries contribute to, one, the corrosion on top of the batteries, two, battery racks being ate out because of acid overrunning, and then also, three, not running as far on a charge. Because you have more acid in the battery, it takes longer for the acid to reach its full potency to give you the longest running charge. So the best bet is to water the batteries correctly. Now to do that you simply put water in the batteries, a soft water, a quarter inch above the plates. Now if you have one cart, this is pretty easy to do. A simple bottled water will let you do it and uh, be pretty good about it. But if you got 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cars to get through, then let's face it, you're in a hurry and you're not going to do all of them right because you have uh, 18 holes per car to go through and you have 60 cars so you have a lot of work ahead of you. One of the tools that EasyGo provides that makes it pretty easy to do is the watering gun. This simply connects to your garden hose um, and what it is is an automatic shutoff gun. Um, it comes with a poster that tells you what this length from your stoppers to the end of this tip are supposed to be. We use a band clamp on ours so once we get that measurement right we lock it into position. Um, you then Take your gun, put it into the battery up to your stoppers at your measured length, pull the trigger. As the batteries fill, the gun will click off. 
just like at your gas pump when you're filling your car. And then you just simply go from battery hole to battery hole. And it's usually pretty quick depending on how low the batteries are. It should take you anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds a hole to fill it. And you know that it'll, fill be, it'll be filled to the exact level uh, which will cut down your corrosion, increase your run time, and overall give your car a better performance. Um, so this is the battery and watering gun, and this is available through the parts department. It comes complete with the gun, a poster to show you how to use the setting, and then also um, a little bit on battery care. And that's it.